and it's the big question for everybody now is our parents are aging and baby boomers are, are getting older and right. it comes down to, do I want to move to a care home? Do I need to move to a condo downsize? What do I need to do? Uh, can't go downstairs into my basement anymore. Um, stairs are getting tough or steep or, you know, not safe or whatever the situation is. So right. yeah, that's the question that's been coming up quite a bit. Hi, I'm Greg Bamford, and welcome back to the Bamford & Co. podcast. I'm joined here with one of my friends, Clint Poitras, with Hoyt's Contracting. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Can you give us a little bit of background on your, I guess, your, your contracting company and uh, what you've been working on? Yeah, well, uh, my company, we started in uh, 2008, and general contracting uh, originally started out doing uh, more on the commercial end. Um, from salons to doctor's offices and what have you, and uh, slowly moved over towards residential. That's where uh, people wanted me, that's where we went, so. That's awesome. You also built Sanctum, didn't you? Yes, I did a pro bono build for Sanctum to help them get off the ground, and I've done things, uh, White Buffalo Youth Lodge, um, did some work on the, uh, what was it, uh, Emerg emergency shelter when they were trying to get started right. to help them out too. Cl so. Clint cares about the community, so we it's applaud true. him for that. He does. Um, so, yeah, so you, you've done a lot. So now it's residential that you're mostly you're focusing on? Yep, primarily residential, yeah. Yeah, so we had a conversation the other day, and this is something that we've been talking about right-sizing within, I guess, uh, our last couple episodes, and we're talking about people living in their homes and now looking to extend the lifeline of their home. So it's expensive to move or expensive to move into a care home. So one of the things that we were discussing the other day is that how can people stay in their home for a longer period of time? So that, that's something that uh, you've been brainstorming. And so maybe could you share with us maybe some ideas of kind of what you were thinking about? Yeah, I mean, it's commonly referred to as age in place, I guess, is the, is, and it's the big question for everybody now is our parents are aging and baby boomers are, are getting older. And right. it comes down to, do I want to move to a care home? Do I need to move to a condo, downsize? What do I need to do? Um, I can't go downstairs into my basement anymore. Um, stairs are getting tough or steep or, you know, not safe or whatever the situation is. So, right. Yeah, that's the question that's been coming up quite a bit. So It's awesome. So, I mean, when we look at these things too, is that what can we do to a house that doesn't change the value of it? Yeah. And, then, and then also what can, <clears throat> what can we switch back that doesn't cost much either, right? Because sometimes we're going into houses as realtors and it's wheelchair accessible and they've done all these improvements to it. Right. But for the next person moving in, that's a lot of cost to be able to just rip out. Yeah. And then that also that property doesn't sell for top dollar because of all the extra work. Right. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So uh, it, it, yeah, sorry. A, a lot of times, um, people, the, the main issue comes up is I can't get into the bathtub anymore, or I need accessibility into the bathtub and you don't want to get rid of your bathtub on your main floor because right. when you do go to sell, that's going to be your feature for a family or whoever decides to move in. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you just got to juggle what, what you can afford, what, what's a possibility for you and, and, and how it can be done. Uh, other things such as laundry, getting laundry from basement to main floor. Uh, lately we've been putting a lot of laundry services into closets, whether it's stackables or, okay. or converting a spare room into a laundry room so that, you know, you have access to that. Uh, so you don't have to go down the stairs. That makes a big difference. Like, I mean, laundry, everybody, nobody really wants laundry in the, in, in the basement anymore. <laughs> no, it no, just, it's it a thing of the past. It, it doesn't matter what house you live in. Most people don't want yeah. it in the basement. What would like, I mean, you have to look at where water is and plumbing is and so forth, but how much would it usually cost? Like not usually, but like an estimate. Like if uh, you're, I mean, that's, <laughs> there's like, so many variables. I, I get it. But if you, you just said like, you have to throw out a number, just like, would it be 5,000, 10,000? No, I, I, I think somewhere in the 35 to $4,500 range, uh, right. depending on where your services are. Like you said, you got to get that drain, proper slope, water lines, all those things to service the unit. So yeah, it kind of depends where everything is. And then it depends how nice you want it. 
So like, are, well, that's are, you, just it, yeah. are you building cabinets? Are you putting granite countertops? Yeah. Are you doing all those things? Yeah, I the mean, sky is the limit. Na with now it. you're looking fifteen <laughs> to twenty thousand. Yeah, exactly. But. Yeah, but for the service itself, I mean, yeah, you're you could probably do it for thirty five hundred dollars, but then you got a washing machine sitting in your spare room, so right. Then you look at cabinets, and well, now you want the pull outs, so that's easier to do, and yeah, it's right. Many variables, so. For sure, maybe even raising it a little bit so it's easier for for, yep. for the yep. management side of things. Um, is it is it cost is it costly to switch it back, or is it pretty easy to to switch things back? Kind uh, of again, it it all depends on the application. Okay. Um, if if you have open ceiling underneath, like a suspended ceiling, it's it's a pretty simple fix. You just pull some tiles aside, run your drain lines, your water lines, and right. Bob's your uncle, but yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's it's not that simple. <laughs> Bob's not my uncle, but at the same time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, these are just super, the super insightful things because everybody's thinking of them, right? Yeah. And, it, and right now you can't find a bungalow. If you're, if you're looking at a bungalow in the city, the new neighborhoods aren't building them. So everybody's looking at yeah. these older properties, but they're also looking at renovating them because they're now becoming dated yeah. or a lot of them still have the laundry in the basement. So yeah. that, that's a major concern. They're like, oh, well, I can't buy it because it's got laundry in the basement. Yeah. Well, if you phone Clint, he can move up your laundry for 3,500. Uh, yeah, but I'm, don't quote me on that. <laughs> starting quotes, 3,500. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, no, part, part of the issue too is there's a lot of people that they're looking for bungalows and then people that are in bungalows are looking for condos and people in condos want a first time home. So it's just, it's a major transition right now and, yeah. we, don't, and we don't have enough inventory when it comes down to it in the first place. Right. right? And there weren't a lot of two stories where they had main floor, um, suites made, yeah. right? Like, right. or like you had a master bedroom on the main and so forth. That's kind of a new thing now that they're bringing into a case, but yeah, so there's a lot of changes. Um, I appreciate your insight on this because oh, yeah. you're looking at um, kind of focusing on this as part of your business going forward, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're we're starting now just because of the the sheer demand for it. Um, uh, a company called uh, Age Smart Home Solutions. Cool. And what they do, what what the whole premise is, is that we send in technicians, and we use what's actually familiar to real estate is uh, lidar mapping. Right which is typically used in real estate applications. I'm sure yeah. you've used it before. As like a virtual tour. So it takes a, you around, yeah. it maps the property. Yeah, and, so you, yeah. and you get an idea level per level where everything is. It also gives you a floor plan. Um, so this, this allows our technicians to be able to see the home and be able to come up with a game plan, identify security, or security uh, identify safety issues and you know, just suggestions like grab bars here, widen this door to 36 inches, you know, things that you may need or, or may want to start thinking about uh, as you age and age in place. Right, because I mean, if you can, if you love the neighborhood you live in, and there's usually a lot of emotions to the house that you've been in for a long period of time. If you can stand it an extra two, five, ten years, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you try to do it, right? Yeah, well, and I had this conversation with one of my clients the other day. And she's, you know, well, I can't get in my bathtub and, all, you know, all the things. And she's, but then she doesn't want to lose her privacy. She doesn't want to lose her, you know, you go to a condo or assisted living or whatever, you're crammed in beside, you know, other people. You, you get smells from other units and, you know, it's just something about have, being able to stay in a familiar place for you is, is huge, I think. And it, it, It's hard too, because when, when we're talking about right-sizing, people moving into a condo, if you're from a 2,200 square foot two-story with, with three floors and tons of stuff, moving into a 780 or even a 1,000 square foot condo is massively moving into a different space. Right, yeah, and you, and you gotta think too, that you know, you have your uh, kids from out of town come to visit, where are they gonna stay now? You know, you, yeah. you know there's a lot of, I, I'm going through this with my own mom right now, and it's, you know, she wants to get rid of the house, but it's a bungalow, so it's, where are you gonna go? Yeah. What are you going to do? 
So we, we all did. I mean, we did it with my parents about five years ago. We sold their 2,100 square foot property because of the upkeep and just because yeah. of mobility and so forth and moved it into a bungalow townhouse, right? Yeah. And it was just then they can live on one floor and so forth. But I mean, they got in it five years ago. It was a little bit more right. affordable back then. And there and, was some available. Right. And there was some <laughs> available, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, for example, that property would have been probably worth about like half a million dollars and now they're worth 700,000. Right. Like it's, it's way different, right? Is, For yeah. a lot of people. And, and the affordability, affordability factor comes into it because a lot of times that 2,100 square foot house that might be dated isn't getting you anywhere close to the amount of money that you need to move into a bungalow right. because of the demand, yeah. right? So yeah. So working with, with, with you, you might be able to give them some extra time there so that they well, save and, some, some and money. Yeah, and, and they would know that they have options, I right. guess, is, is the biggest thing. Um, which is part of this age smart home solutions is it doesn't you're not committed to any contract with me or anybody uh it's just giving you the options showing you what's possible if you're interested in in aging in place then you know it's a possibility yes yeah, so. that's awesome so um, we'll sh share all your information uh, with this podcast and you can reach out to Clint uh, to at least get maybe even a quote. I mean, there's probably a charge to a quote and so forth for yep. this, but at yep. the same time, at least get a quote to see if this is something that works for, for you or your parents or your grandparents and so <laughs> forth, right? Because I, I, for, for us, we always find that a lot of times when we're helping out parents and grandparents were working with the full family, right? It's yep. somebody, oh, yeah. Someone introduce us just because they've worked with us and now we're working with, yep. with, with, their, with well, their, lo their other loved ones, right? Right. So. And Saskatoon's a small city. I mean, we have three degrees of separation here, so <laughs> everybody knows everybody in, in the grand scheme of things. But uh, yeah, yeah sure. it's, it's typically the, the kids that are kind of stick handling things for the parents uh, right. is, is typically what I see. So. Yeah. Nope. That's awesome. Well, Thank you for coming on today. Uh, we look forward to having you on in the future and explaining more in detail as your company evolves and builds out and we have some more examples. Maybe we can even share some diagrams and some other stuff in the future. Yes, yeah, everybody's great. constantly wondering about real estate and I think people right now with the baby boomer generation, our parents and so forth, it's probably the biggest change that we've seen in real estate maybe ever. Yeah, it's it's a massive hurdle for for everybody right now, and everybody wants the best for their parents, and 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 even maintaining a home uh, for long term for the children is is not a bad thing either. So yeah, no, for sure. Well, thank you, so, Clay. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Again. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much.